We are the light of the world and the salt in the earth. We are salt in the earth and in turn is revolted, resents how we're hurting it and creation inhabiting, that which was made by God. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. We human beings are flawed. We stand here looking at all at the pain our creation has wrought, electrification, industrialization, invention of the light bulb, yet we ignore that within us. Burning keg after keg of fossil fuels, releasing waste gas from factories and large scale labs, photochemical smog produced in mass, irritating respiratory tracts, skin and eyes, and protected by masks. If smog was directed for COVID-25, we would all be gas. I believe it's quite likely and we drive ourselves to the brink of extinction, sometimes acting like we're exhausted in the fight, like we're the ones fighting fierce California forest fires. Exacerbated by the greenhouse gases, increasing the heat and UV in this tropospheric region, and volatile compounds we propagate, which are prone to spontaneous combustion. All the while releasing exhaust fumes from cars, which were made for convenience. We put convenient before consequent, and now we pay the price at the convenience store of life. It outlets worldwide. People are dying in natural disasters that are God made, but we man made them worse. Stuck in a rut. As we drift further down the path of destruction, the rift between sound reason and adoption, and the doctrine we believe in grows. Once one level plateau, now everything rises and falls at profit and profit margins. Going down these lines, whose fault is it? Consumers looking to make a dark house look a little nice and bright, or corporations nickel and diming all the time trying to raise revenue just by a little summit slight. These two crooked blocks are elevated and we sink further in a hearse, but what's worse? No one is looking to the source of eternal light, eternal life. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has lost its savior, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under the foot of men. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Matthew 5, 13 to 14. We've slid low, so the bar is much higher. We've slid so low, the bar is much higher. Riff Valley.